Hi guys and welcome to game number, episode number two of the Foot Draft Journey. Today we are going to be taking our super team yet again which has been upgraded with two players guys. We have got Ronaldo which we picked up first owner for a nice 1.5 million and we also picked up a Bellerin card as well for 153k. Now this is a very minimal boost to his normal card but next weekend that's when it becomes alive and uh, I think it does go to a 90 rated with 99 pace, so it should be a pretty good card. So, the two investments I've made this week into the team Neymar dropping to the bench, and uh, also I think it's gonna be Royce, Neymar, and probably Costa, uh, which do, uh, sorry, Abamyang or even Van Basten, which come onto the bench. So, we have ditched the goalkeeper guys just because I've had no issues with goalkeepers over my period of time on foot champs. And uh, we have uh, 10 games to play today. So, if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If you're trying to hit up a 5,000 likes, that'd be absolutely insane. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So we've got 10 games to play, like I said, guys. We're on a nice streak as of yesterday, and uh, hopefully we can continue that today and uh, pick up some nice victories and potentially push us into uh, high silvers uh, by the end of today's episode. So guys, we are back, and apologies because I did realise when editing this video, I called it Foot Draft Champions. We all know it's not Foot Draft Champions, it is Foot Champions, that's all it's called guys, Foot Champions, and it is a really, really good um, game mode. I honestly really recommend you guys taking advantage of it, um, obviously the free amount of coins you get, the packs you get for the end of the week, some of them can be worthwhile. I've seen people get silver one, silver two, silver three, and uh, pack legends in the packs as well, but it's all down to luck. Now obviously the higher you do get up, the better reward you are going to get. We take this game by, uh, by the storm. Uh, early on in the game, guys, Bale making it 2-0. 30th minute, we lay the ball off to, um, to uh, Suarez, who fails at it. But a nice flick and a volley there by Hull. It does make it 3-0 and extends the lead. So... In the previous episode, guys, you will have seen my failings. Two of them are penalty shootouts. Penalty shootouts are the most annoying thing to me. Um, my aim all the time is to finish the game out by the 90 minutes, if not by the 90 minutes, to the 120 minutes. And uh, if it goes to penalties, more than likely, Bateson is going to lose because I've still not yet got my penalties down to uh, down to a tree. I've still not... Um, Fully got confident with penalties. Uh, a few other times, I think I've saved the ball, and uh, I don't save the ball, which can be very, very frustrating. Our first game, guys, is a victory at 5 1. Very dominant game. Did let him get on the score sheet as well, um, but uh, obviously. The attack is absolutely insane. I am so glad that I took the risk, guys. And uh, well, not it's not even a risk, is it, when you buy Ronaldo? Just took the lunge and actually bought Ronaldo to add to the team because he is so so much better than Neymar. Neymar is good. He obviously will be good, being 92 rated, but um, he struggles with strength. Strength is a massive factor in FIFA, especially when you're more than likely going to be coming up against the likes of Bellerin, Walker. Uh, just to name the main two, uh, which I come up against in foot champs, guys, and uh, them two completely batter Neymar. But when I put them up against Ronaldo, my opponents seem to struggle. Ronaldo there getting the equalising goal in the second game, guys, uh, after giving away an early penalty, which was, uh, I was frustrated about. Um, but a brilliant little uh, finish there. Uh, and then my opponent decided to put the control down. Now, usually, if I was playing like a YouTuber for a series, I would obviously not play on. I would wait and see what was happening. But when it comes to foot, chance, foot champs and uh, people are leaving the chance for me to get a goal on the board, I am going to do so. We made it 3-1 in the 19th minute and... Anyone would do the same, guys. If you're in a uh, in a position where you need as many wins as you can, so, uh, opponent puts control down, you are going to take advantage uh, and try and score the goal. Even though it took me about 10 game, ten in-game minutes to get the bloody ball off the opponent. So he raged quick. We moved on to our next game, guys. Martial, Remy, Sterling, uh, player of the month, Firmino, Emre Chan, Fernandinho, uh, Moreno... One to watch Stones and Smalling as well, to name a few players on his team. He takes an early lead, guys, with the ball over the top to Remy. Remy picks the ball up and uh, scores a nice driven shot into the bo bottom corner there. Uh, annoying start, as we were doing absolutely awesome up until that point, but his keeper was making insane staves. But not long after he scored, we actually... I'm able to break on through. Nice one-two. Ball to Suarez. Suarez underneath the keeper. One-one. No complaints about that, guys. It was a brilliant finish, um, but yet again, 
I just wasn't uh, doing the clinical play like I was. We made it 2-1 just after half-time and we should have continued shutting up shop. But in the 70th minute, guys, uh, we give away the ball really daftly. And look at how direct that tackle was straight to um, one of his players. And then a finish there by Martial um, does make it 2-2 in the 71st minute. This game went to penalties, yes. Uh, one of his penalties I could have saved um, where the keeper actually did touch it. But he ended up going in. I was really annoyed. Um, and I think after this one, guys, um, he, he puts away the penalty there. My last penalty, which is this one, was an absolutely stupid manoeuvre by myself. Um, I have no idea why I'm going down the corner, uh, down the middle, sorry. Um, really, really stupid. Saves the penalty and then it moves on to his last one. Now, this is the thing I hate in Ultimate Team at the moment. Um, we went to save his penalty and the keeper touched it, but it still went in. This is something which is really annoying me. Not just me, but a lot of people. Um, but I can't really complain, guys. Should have shut up the game in the 90 minutes, never. And uh, unfortunately, walking away with a loss uh, against a game we probably should have won against Gammy Hammy. So, an annoying loss takes us to too many losses this uh, this period so far. And we're only in the second episode already. Still really annoyed about the DC loss, um, which we received in the first episode. And then our next opponent, guys, rocks up with Harry Kane, Quadrado, Sterling, Ramsey, Asamoah, Hernanez, Gibbs, Shelney, uh, Barzagli, Abate and Marchetti as the full starting 11. Now, my opponent in this game, all he did was repeatedly pass the ball to Harry Kane, hold um, the, uh, tr the the right trigger or left trigger, uh, one of the two, and just repeatedly shielded. And uh, I just dispossessed him and counterattacked, and it worked every single time. Made it 2-0 in the 23rd minute in this game and uh, continued to push on. But he kept doing the same gameplay. It was uh, completely um, like ridiculous when it comes to defending. And uh, Bale does make it 3-0 before half-time. He didn't rage quit, though. He did stay around for the full majority, well... He did stay around for the full duration of the game uh, and uh, a very dominant game again. And uh, finally, the goals are starting to go in for us. None of these boring 1 0, uh, 2 1 wins, uh, which he did see the uh, last two weeks in a row. Next opponent in form are Nautovic up front Eden Hazard, William, uh, Dembele, Chan, uh, Gundogan, Clichy, um, Smalling. Old Wereld, who was very good in this game, Bellerin, and obviously Lloris, who I struggled to get past. Um, a majority of the time, this game should have been about 6 7 uh, nil, uh, but it took us until the 24th minute to actually break Lloris and uh, put the ball into the back of the net. It could have been, an, it should have been an absolute slapping, but honestly, Lloris was really good. Vieira this time uh, round breaking the ball over to Abamyang. Abamyang um, passing the ball over, well, not importantly passing the ball over, uh, but a nice first time finish there um, from Mateus does make it 2 0 in the 80th minute, shutting out the game. But. We've got one more bite at the Cherry guys and it's Neymar waiting for the overlapping run of Marco Royce. Somehow gets in front of the defender, makes it 3-0 and uh, 90th minute makes it um, makes it a clean sweep guys. Uh, two games in a row after the loss we did receive on penalties and uh, definitely a game we should have completely uh, maybe scored potentially five goals if I was more clinical in front of net. Our next opponent guys, Daniel Sturridge, Mane, Martial, Fabregas, Kante, Gundogan, Moreno, Smalling, uh, Mer um, let's say Mertesacker, Mustafi, Klein and Butland in net. A lot of overpowered players in there. Uh, Moreno, Klein and uh, Butland. Anytime I see them, I really do uh, get annoyed. But a brilliant tackle there from Puyol doing what he does best. Sees Vieira, links the ball over to Luis Suarez, who sees the runner, Ronaldo, but actually does the inside step and a brilliant finesse shot. Makes it 1-0 within four minutes. And... Uh, that kept on happening in this game. We're just breaking straight through his defence and uh, being left with a lot of space. Uh, but some uh, another bad attacking by him leaves a massive gap. Moreno, yet again, nowhere to be seen. Overlapping run uh, where Klein should have been. Ronaldo picks the ball up, does a fake shot, somehow gets through, goes for a shot, fails, and uh, ball somehow manages to bank it through uh, to Vieira, who does a chip shot over the keeper, cheekily, and makes it 2-0 in the 17th minute. So a game which we potentially, like he was very good on the attack. Um, I made some stupid Errors there in the 58th minute ball over to uh, um, to well, made it its way to Daniel Sturridge and uh, he puts it in making it 2-1 in the 50th minute and uh, not long afterwards guys we do actually break through with Luis Suarez with a nice dribbling overlapping run by uh, Vieira back to Luis Suarez and a near post finish past the keeper makes it 3-1 and. Uh, Looked like it did seal the game. But, but, I keep saying but, guys. I never shut the games down. Uh, but he did hit the post a few times after this. Uh, and then 90th, guys. Bale jumps on through, saved by the keeper. And a first time volley by Ronaldo makes it 4 1 and uh, seals another victory. Three victories in a row uh, in a game where my opponent only had one shot on target, which is crazy because he hit the post twice. I don't know why they didn't count as shots. Um, 
But we all know how FIFA does work. Jamie Vardy, um, Bojan and uh, Player of the Month's son. Deli Alli in the CDM position, a little bit wasted there, and he won't be on full chem either. Rose, Zuma, William, Schneidlin, J- um, uh, Xhaka? No, not Xhaka, Shakiri, and uh, a few other decent players as well. Suarez linking the ball through, luckily, to Ronaldo. Ronaldo puts it in 1 0 within 13 minutes of the game. And I'm just waiting to get a, a hell of a load of rage quits, but it never seems to happen uh, in my games. Hullet linking up with Ronaldo. Ronaldo was a nice dribbling past the defender, past the two defenders, and that uh, squares the ball off by uh, Hullet. Now, a lot of people. I actually give me a lot of stick for my records of goal-to-game ratios with players. But you see the player. Like, every game that I do play on FIFA, it all comes um, in gameplay you see. Now, if you look at my gameplay, I don't just feed the ball to one player, which I presume a lot of people do do. Um, I actually uh, do share the ball around and make sure that the passing, um, not the passing percentage, the shooting percentage um, does go up that little bit just so I'm more certain to score a goal. Whether it be uh, Ronaldo one-on-one and uh, I see the... um, I see the run of, say, the likes of Vieira, who's in empty space. I'll pass it to Vieira. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. Now, um, I'm happy with the records I've got on the players. I'm happy with my overall record now. Now, I seem to have sussed the game that little bit better. And uh, two amazing long shots there, not only by uh, Suarez, but also Royce as well, uh, as a substitute, does make it 6-0 in this game. We break on through one more time. Keeper comes out. Name our finesse shot outside the area. And uh, get game looked to be over. But I did take my... Um, my foot off the pedal at this point, and uh, you can see, guys, uh, it, it it turned it turned a little bit nasty because I let him through. Uh, uh, that took a massive deflection. That one, uh, he it makes it seven one in the eighty seventh minute, but he wasn't finished for goals, uh, guys. Eighty ninth minute breaks through with Vardy. Vardy scores as well, and then in the ninetieth, he breaks through again, and uh, Jamie Vardy causing a lot of trouble. Links the ball up to uh, Musa, and Musa makes it seven three, guys, in a very very high scoring game um, in foot champions which you don't really see in FIFA in a game we definitely shouldn't let him in if I was playing my full uh, concentration mode uh, it would have been 7-0 but I let him through, guys, and he did, did take advantage and hopefully did knock my elo down as well. So another game, guys, Immobile, Salah, uh, El Sharari, Pjanic, Sandro, Barzagli, Miranda, um, Handanovic, Abate, Nangol, and Kadira as well. Very, very nice-looking Serie A team. Um, for potentially, I think this is our eighth game. Is it our eighth game? This is our ninth game. Yeah, nineteenth game. Sorry, a foot champions. We take the lead quite early on there, guys, with a nice goal from Bale and uh, continued to ping the ball forward. Nice one-touch passing and uh, a little bit of trickery there from Bale. Sees the run of Ronaldo. And Ronaldo gets on the score sheet, making it two 0 in at the twenty-second uh, minute. Continue pushing forward, but. This time we left the defence open. Immobile, ball through to Abate. Um, bad pass, actually, by uh, by myself, doing a John Stones. Uh, passing it back to the keeper, failing and intercepted by his striker. Suarez breaks on through, sees the run of Bale. And uh, Bale rounds the keeper, but gets a penalty. And uh, I was hoping for a red card, not even a yellow. And uh, the nice chip penalty there from Lauren Blanc um, does score. Now, a lot of people are asking, actually, why Blanc does take penalties for me. Um, the reason being, he actually has a 91... Um, a penalty stat on on the game, which is actually really really high. There's only a certain few uh, like no legend cards which are actually better than him, and that is Balotelli and uh, Ricky Lambert of all people as well. Um, so we made it four two in that game. So that's why Blanc takes my penalties, not for any other reason. Um, obviously, I could boost records of players up if I decided to move it to someone else. Um, and this guy did actually rage quit in the ninth game, nineteenth game of foot champion. So a brilliant end to it. And uh, moving on into the 10th and final game of today's episode, guys. Uh, We are looking to pick up another win before moving on into the second half, which is where I seem to fail quite a lot. So, final game, Lalana, player of the month, Sterling, Remy, um, uh, who else is there, Ansari. It's not really a good-looking team, but... I always seem to make the mistake where I look at a team, laugh at a team, and think, why the hell is he in foot champions? But you got to think, guys, everyone who's in foot champions has either won Division 2, um, won Division 1, held Division 1, or uh, got promoted out of Division 2 as well. So you've got to um, gotta look at it that way, or they've even won the weekday tournament. So there's a lot of a mixture between very, very good players and bad players. We made it 1-0 uh, in this game. He crossed it over, and a terrible, terrible save by Neuer uh, there does put it into the back of the net and makes it 1-1 in the 50, uh, 50, 50th minute, um, which was a frustrating goal to give up. But yet again, uh, we took advantage not long after, guys. Suarez with a nice ball, well, sees the run of Puyol at the back post. 
close and Puyol does win us the game in the 59th minute guys taking us to a nice run of games and uh, obviously that penalty loss has cost us guys as well 9 wins and 1 loss for the episode so let's go and do a little outro and see how things look Right guys, so we're looking pretty good there. Nine wins, one loss, and it was yet again on penalties. Yes, Bateson is absolutely terrible at penalties. Current rank is uh, silver one, not looking at leaderboards and stuff like that, um, but really are looking really good on the attack. Not uh, drag, well, a few games we did concede a few goals, but uh, a majority of them we did comprehensively smash our opponents, so... If this can continue, guys, we have got a good run in looking towards the end goal. But it's still a mile away, guys. We're at the halfway point now with 20 and 20 and uh, going forward with another 10 games. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. Rate. Remember to subscribe to me if you are not subscribed already. And, guys, we will be back um, probably tomorrow uh, with the final two episodes of this. And if you have enjoyed this one, guys, feel free to leave a like, rate, and subscribe. Now, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>